Ebola vaccine continues to be an investigational vaccine. What does it mean that? Is that today there's no uh, licensing of this vaccine, so we need to use it uh, with a little bit more precautions than if a vaccine would have been registered. The first one has to do with knowledge. So how can we take the knowledge of what Ebola is and how it's transmitted to the community? There is also the, the treatment of these people. The other pillar is obviously the detection and contact tracing. The earlier we detect someone that has symptoms, the earlier we give them the treatment that they need so they can avoid the transmission. is not a mass vaccination, we are not going to vaccinate all. The ones that are going to be vaccinated are all the contacts, the, the, the people that were in contact with this uh, positive case, the health uh, workers, the health workers are the, one of the most vulnerable groups, and the contacts of contacts. And that is what we call the ring strategy. These communities might not have seen or might not understand what a vaccine is and what the vaccine protects from. We need to bring the right information to try to make them uh, ease their decision. I think there are mainly three challenges. One has to do with how do we engage the community into this, how we make them understand, the second challenge is obviously logistics. Uh, this is a vaccine that needs to be in very low temperatures, it's what we call cold chain, and logistically in very remote areas that is very difficult to achieve. And I think the third one is doing this ring vaccination under study conditions. Mm -hmm.